It's a loved handset, but you're about to love it more because it's getting Android 4.2. I'm Aaron Baker from PhoneDog.com. This is our full walkthrough of Android 4.2.2 and HTC Sense 5 on the HTC One. It's the HTC One, but you're going to notice a difference. It is running Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. It's rolling out to the international HTC One devices. My hope, first of all, is that we get it on the US versions very soon, but it brings a wealth of changes to the popular device, including some of the things we've seen on stock Android 4.2, things like this, quick toggles, just by swiping down with two fingers. Obviously, you can see some changes here, so let's dive right in and see what's different in this version of Android on the HTC One. So first of all, one of my favorites, you've got your shortcuts here, you've got brightness settings, and you can see HTC's flavor running atop this. I mean, the icons are different. The text obviously is still using that Roboto text and I can just swipe right here to access my notifications or go directly to my quick settings. Now within settings, you're gonna see a couple of differences here and this does have the ability to use widgets on the lock screen, but as you would expect, there is an HTC flavor or an HTC customization to that. You can see here, for example, your ability to choose your widget, which is pretty limited. You've got seven digital Gmail and then Google Plus posts, but you can turn on that lock screen of a widget lock screen, but you've still got your music, your photo album, your productivity, and your regular lock screens if that's what you want. But when you're ready to do it, you turn it off and back on and you can see my test Gmail account here. Now I can expand it out and move up and down through that and utilize this from the lock screen and then when I'm ready to unlock the device, I can do it just by swiping up and going in just like that. Now let's take a look really quickly at Antutu and Quadrant Standard and see what those numbers are and you can see Antutu popping up right now and then we'll switch right over to Quadrant Standard and you can see the total number there and we'll jump back into some other customizations that have been made. So you can see this device is incredibly fast all around. One of my personal favorites, finally, a percentage indicator in the top notification area. It's my biggest beef with Sense5 to date is I like to have that physical percentage notifier telling me how much battery I have left and there are third-party alternatives, but I love having it over there by the battery life indicator and available out of the box. To access it, all you have to do is go to settings and then go down to battery, or power I should say, and you can turn on show battery level right there. Another great new feature includes the ability to get rid of that pesky menu bar that usually exists down here in the bottom in Sense 5. You can go into the display, for example, go to gestures and buttons, and then come down here and see where it says, let me look, home button, there it is. I can either swipe up or press and hold for Google Now, or I can swipe up for Google Now, press and hold for menu. So by pressing and holding, I can access my menu like that. So let me actually go in an application that has some sort of menu option. I should be able to press and hold and boom, there's my menu option. Now it's great in a website or I should say in an application like this where the menu button's in a proper place. But when you go into something like Twitter, it'll be much easier to have this as opposed to that big black menu bar sitting at the bottom. Last but not least, or I should say second to last but not least, Instagram support is now available in Blink Feed. All you have to do is come up here and go to topics and services, click over here to services and applications, and I've got Instagram now for HTC Sense along with the traditional stuff, Facebook, Flickr, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Now, last but not least, you can do some new things in the camera, including locking autofocus by going in here, and you can see, of course, HTC Zoe is still available, and then, of course, my settings. Front domain, I've got photo capture mode, video capture mode, but I can come in here, and boom, take a picture of that beautiful wood desk. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for more on Android 4.2 and the HTC One. I know what you're thinking. I know what everybody's thinking. I wish that it would come to the US as quickly as possible. Well, HTC is working on it, and so I hope to see this on AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and when it comes out, the Verizon version very soon. Loving that physical percentage indicator, though, up at top. Thanks for HTC, or thanks to HTC for including it. Keep it locked on the site for continuing coverage. Hit me up on Twitter at PhoneDog underscore Aaron, Facebook, facebook.com slash hi Aaron Baker, and on the site at PhoneDog.com. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.